Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna try to explain it as simple as possible on what a DAG size file is. So this DAG item has to load into your GPU to be able to mine this coin. So for example, it started off with a one gigabyte DAG file size and it was fitting really easily into almost any GPU that was around. So as you know, there are a few two gigabyte cards around here that you can do mining with but people started getting in trouble because the DAG file currently is 2.6 gigabytes. So this made that these cards are not able to mine anymore, but you're pretty safe with a three gigabyte card. And I'm gonna tell you why. Because of the calculations of this guy over here, he said pretty easily that it is growing about 0.73 times a year. So we're assuming that the DAG file was about one gigabyte in the start and is around two gigabytes on December 2016. If we're gonna keep on calculating this, we will be only hitting three gigabyte on April 2018. But as you know, as he says exactly, Ethereum is gonna switch to proof of stake at about one November. So that would be a few months before it's gonna hit three gigabyte limit. And that's why it's not really a problem for Ethereum mining if you have three gigabyte cards. Four gigabyte cards are pretty safe for September 2019. And by that time, we're gonna have about pretty damn badass AMD Vegas or something. So I'm not sure why we would even need four gigabyte cards because in that time we're already having Vegas with eight gigabyte and 16 gigabyte memory. But of course, there are many coins to be mined like Dubai coin or Ethereum Classic because Ethereum Classic, for example, is gonna keep on growing its DAG file because it's not gonna switch to proof of stake like Ethereum does. So hopefully this answers your questions pretty much that your cards are pretty safe at this very moment. So you can just freely go and buy your cards and have nothing to worry about it. But of course, if you buy eight gigabyte cards or 11 or 12 gigabyte cards for GTX Nvidia cards, you're gonna have a really high retail value if you want to sell your cards. So that's a really good option with high limit cards. So hopefully you all enjoyed this video and see you guys in the next one.